Hi, I'm Debbie from Ask Debbie About Hair. And today I'm gonna to do something a little different for you. One, I'm gonna tell you my journey and my story. And I'm gonna tell you something on a way that you can finally learn how to find the root cause of your hair problem. It's called a hair mineral analysis. So come, come sit down with me and watch this interview. Hmm, how did my journey start? Well, my journey started about 28 years ago. I actually started out as a hairstylist. And as a hairstylist, I had a salon. And I was noticing that when someone was coming into the salon, someone knew if they had a bald spot or if they had hair coming out or scalp issues. I, we would try to treat it right there in the salon. But then I would say, okay, I can't treat this. I need you to go to your doctor. I need you to make an appointment with your dermatologist. And I would tell them, tell them to take blood. And I would tell them about the bald spot. Because even before I got trained specifically in hair loss, I knew then that when I saw these bald spots and I saw these problems in their scalp, I knew that it was something going on internally. So I would tell them to go to their doctors. And they would listen and they would go. But what was happening is every time they would come back to me, they say, Debbie, I went to the doctor. The doctor took blood. The doctor did this. The doctor did that. But they said nothing was wrong. And it would upset me because I would say, something is wrong. Your body is trying to tell you something. And so it happened so much that I decided that I would start doing the research. And I would try to help my clients find out what was going on. And that led me into trichology, which is the study of hair and scalp disorders. So I decided, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll become a trichologist. And I study trichology and trichology takes years and years of study. And I will tell you a trichologist, all of them is, they're just as smart as a dermatologist without that degree. But what I learned with trichology, it taught me about psoriasis and eczema and a lot of skin disorders, but it did not give me the why. I wanted to find out why my client had the bald spot, why she or he was losing their hair, why, and I wasn't finding that. So that led me to continue on my journey. And in that journey, this is where I came across um, learning about health and wellness and nutrition. So I started studying nutrition and I actually became a nutritionist because that's when I learned that there was a connection between hair and health. And I knew that if I could bring the two together, I would finally be able to help people who were coming to me about hair loss. I would finally be able to give them the why, the why they were having those problems. So in that journey, I came across something that was so amazing and it's called a hair mineral analysis. With that, this test allowed me to take a sample of someone's hair and actually examine the hair to finally tell them why they were losing the hair. And to jump the gun a little, it goes back to nutrition. Your hair tells the story of your life. Your hair tells everything about you internally. And with me becoming a nutritionist, what I learned is that the minerals in your body, the micronutrients in your body is what sustains you. Without these micronutrients, you're gonna have issues and problems. The body is gonna get imbalanced. Disease is gonna sit in, illness is gonna sit in, hair loss is gonna become a problem. And so with me taking a sample of your hair, then now I can see what's going on in the body in regards to your minerals. So your hair holds all the minerals. And when I say minerals, I'm talking about calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, phosphorus, iron, copper, selenium, um, manganese, cobalt, sulfur. Did I say that already? I think I did. But there's a few that I'm forgetting right now. But all of the minerals that I just mentioned is what your body needs every single day. And your body doesn't produce these minerals. Your body gets them from the foods you eat. So when you're deficient in a mineral, then the body becomes imbalanced because she or he needs that mineral. And if the body becomes imbalanced, 
that body is going to become maybe ill, maybe sick, and hair loss and scalp problems. It is just a symptom of something internal that's going on. And what I call it, I call it your check engine light, just like your car has a check engine light. And when that check engine light comes on in your car, that's your car trying to tell you that something is wrong. Well, it's the same with your body. Your body has a check engine light. And when that check engine light comes on, that's that hair loss. Your hair loss is a check engine light. Your scalp problem is the check engine light. That bald spot is a check engine light. That back pain is a check engine light. That any pain you're having, that headache is a check engine light. And so when your check engine light comes on, it's your body trying to tell you something else is happening. And out of all the pains and illnesses you have, hair loss and scalp problems is going to be a symptom. A hair mineral analysis can reveal so much about your body. Um, it actually can detect diseases years before it manifests. And blood, urine, or saliva does not have the capability of doing this. Um, it can reveal chronic fatigue in your body. It can reveal whether you have a thyroid issue. It can reveal issues with your adrenal glands. It can reveal if your body is filled with inflammation. It will reveal if your body contains heavy toxic metals. And when I say heavy toxic metals, I mean aluminum, lead, mercury, arsenic, uranium. So many of these heavy toxic metals are in our bodies. Many of us have aluminum because of the deodorant that we use. But aluminum also leads to many diseases and problems, one being Alzheimer's. And so it can reveal so many things about the body. So for an example, a deficiency in magnesium shows signs of anxiety, shows signs of irritability, shows signs of fatigue. Um, a person with a, defic a deficiency in magnesium also will show signs of high blood pressure, uh, a fast heart rate, kidney stones. Those are, those are the deficiencies of, of, of magnesium. And then you have calcium. An excess of calcium in the body can also show many problems. One relating to hair is a very, very dry scalp, very, very brittle hair. That's usually because calcium stores itself in your bones and your teeth. But if your body is not absorbing the calcium that you're getting from the foods you eat, calcium will start to find other places to store itself. It can store itself in, in your organs, but it does store itself in your hair. So someone who has extremely dry hair, and I mean, maybe that hair, it doesn't matter how much oil they use, how much moisturizing shampoos, how much um, um, hydrating conditioners, nothing they use will make will let that hair become moistened, moistened and, and manageable. That's usually because that symptom is too much calcium in the body. Another one is iron. When we have a, um, a level, a high level of iron in our body, there are signs, there's extreme fatigue and so many other things that goes on in the body. So when these micronutrients are deficient or when we have an excess of these minerals, the body is giving you symptoms and signs. And many times you're going to a doctor over and over again and it's not being detected just yet. It, sometimes it may not detect for years, but when you get a sample, and we can see where you're trending, you're able to see where your body is headed. And so what is the solution for when you find out that your body has too much of a mineral or your body has a deficiency of, of a mineral? The solution is in your diet. The best way to heal your body is in what you eat. If you ever heard the saying, food is medicine, that's why it's called that, because food is medicine. A hair analysis can help you achieve better health because once we get the results back and once you know where your body is trending, once you know whether you're imbalanced, you have a low copper, you have low iron, you have high selenium, once you know where you are, now it's going to be in your diet, it's going to be in what you eat that's going to help you have a better health. So let's use for an example, um, potassium. When you have low potassium, anyone who has low potassium is usually susceptible to allergies. So if someone has a lot of allergies, ecological allergies, the type of allergies where 
Once you walk out and you smell the grass, you see the pollen, or if you have allergies, food allergies. Most of those, that's from a potassium deficiency, uh, a sodium deficiency, and also a manganese deficiency, but let's take potassium. So if that means that your body is deficient in potassium, then you wanna eat foods rich in potassium. That's how you heal the body. You want to find out what your body needs and then give your body what she or he is asking for. Now, this doesn't mean you need to go out right now and run out and get yourself some vitamins because here's the story about vitamins. Vitamins are good, but vitamins don't take the place of minerals. You see, a vitamin can't do its job unless a mineral is there to support it. So I'm not a fan of people going and buying multivitamins or going out and buying a vitamin, especially before you know what your body needs. That's what makes this test so important because once you take the test, now you know where your body is headed. Now you know why you have those headaches. Now you know why you're having the back pain. Now you know why you're having the joint pain. Now you know why you're having the tingling in your hands and feet. All of that will be determined from what we see from your results. But if you don't know these things and you go out and you go and take vitamins for zinc and go out and take vitamins for calcium, your body may not need that calcium. And so what happens is you're overloading your body in something that he or she doesn't need. And when you give your body something that she doesn't need, she or he doesn't need, it's going to also cause problems. So getting this test done and now seeing what your body needs is the best way to go. So once you find out what where, where you're trending, then it's about changing your diet. And I call that a lifestyle change. It's about eating clean, possibly eating a high alkaline diet, more organic foods. And my best one is honestly, a whole food plant-based diet. So here's the difference between a blood, urine, saliva, and those different tests. They are great tests. The, the, the problem with a blood test is a blood test can change based off of what you ate just before the test. If you've ever gone to the doctor and the doctor told you don't eat after midnight, that's the reason why, because what you eat can change and modify the test results. So for an example, um, you had all the signs of a person who was anemic, meaning you were iron deficient. So you had a lot of fatigue. Um, when you walk in a room, you're the only one cold because every the temperature is normal, but you're cold. You love to chew ice. You have white spots on your fingernails. Those are all the symptoms or check engine light of a person with the iron deficiency. So you went to the doctor and they said, you know what? Hey, we're gonna run some blood. And they set the test up for you, but the nurse told you for your test tomorrow, don't eat after midnight. And you don't. You listen to what she said, but earlier in the day, you went and made a salad and you made a nice spinach salad. Well, spinach has a lot of iron in it, so it gave you a boost of iron. So when you went to take your test the next day, unfortunately, they weren't able to see that you're actually anemic because you just gave yourself a boost of iron. So that's the difference there. So what's on your hair? It's been on your hair and it can't change overnight. It can't change and you know, many people nowadays know how to modify like a urinalysis. They know how to modify different things. You can't modify a hair mineral analysis. And as an example, many corporations nowadays, before they hire people, they're taking samples of their hair. Why? Because that sample can see everything. They can see whether you're taking street drugs, pharmaceutical drugs, whatever you're doing, they can see it in the hair. So that's what makes this test so powerful. Well, actually today, many doctors don't get enough training or if any training on nutrition, and many people fear what they do not know. But if you really want to know about your body, you have to learn nutrition. And once you learn nutrition and minerals, then you will really, really understand how important minerals are to your body and how your body cannot function without them. Once you get to learn more about nutrition, and most of those who don't know about a hair mineral analysis or tell you, ah, eh, that test isn't real, those are people who really don't know nutrition. Now, if a person knows nutrition well, they will tell you that this test is actually one of the most amazing biochemistry tests that you can take to finally learn about how to be healthy, how to get your body balanced, and how to keep the hair on your head.
So how can you find out or how can someone find out more about a hair mineral analysis? Um, I have a program called the Balancing Your Body Program and there where I can share with you more detailed information on how important um, a hair mineral analysis is and, and why everyone should get it. I actually do it twice a year just to keep up with my body. I have my family and friends and everybody does it. We do this every year, just like how you do a medical annual, we do a hair mineral analysis and it's helped me tr tremendously. I just recently had surgery and when I got a copy of my report, it was awful. My body was filled with so much toxic things and that's from anesthesia antibiotics and all the different things that I had no control over. So now I'm detoxing. But you could possibly find maybe a practitioner in your local area um, or you can reach out to me. I think in this video there may be a link. But I love for people to do research. I always tell people don't take my word for it. Do your research because I'm a researcher myself. Do your research about minerals. Do your research about micronutrients. Do your research to understand how important minerals are versus vitamins. And then you'll learn and you'll see why you're probably having headaches and different pains. It all stems from minerals. So what do I wanna say at the end of this video? I want everybody to know that most diseases and illnesses and pains and hair loss and scalp problems and things that we have usually stems from a nutrient deficiency in our body or a nutrient excess where we have too much of it. It's going to imbalance the body and it's going to cause the body to have problems. And your hair loss and your scalp problems is just your body's trying to tell you that it needs something. So you can go to our site or you can find one in your local area. But if you have any questions, everybody knows how to find me at Ask Debbie About Hair.